All right. <laughs> I finally caught Nathan captive in the car, so he has to do a little Q&A with me. She told me we were going on a date. People are always asking questions about him, and I'm asking him, like, Nathan, what are your thoughts about this? What do you think? So we thought we'd just, like, sit down and do a little Q&A and answer, like, the most frequently asked questions we're getting right now. I have a lot. We might not get through all of these, but we'll get, we'll get to the good ones. Okay, so somebody asked, how do you guys handle long distance relationship sort of when he is on duty before kids? So I think they probably mean like when we did long distance before we were married. Unless you mean like actually on deployment. <clears throat> uh, was there a deployment question or is that different? No, there's a bunch of questions about long distance. The next one was tips on staying connected or making things special over a long deployment. All right, we'll get to that later. Then. Yeah, so it's like hand in hand, but I think that we kind of prepared for deployment long distance during our dating time when we were doing long distance because he was stationed in Japan before we got married. And so we did international long distance for like over a year. Yeah. Uh, over a year. It's just something you have to get used to. Uh, I mean, obviously you have to find the right person that's uh, willing to put up with it, right? And uh, also that, you know, you guys are gonna be faithful to each other because that's so incredibly important um, so many times that goes poorly so it's really important that you find the right person yeah in the military world what is it what percent of like military relationships end it's like a it's really high, high a really high percentage yeah. um, because it's not an easy lifestyle at all and you really do have to communicate and try to keep things special i always try to send him deployment boxes for like all the holidays and i'll have like the kids do little crafts and things just to keep things as special as we can and then obviously anticipating when you come home. Yep. That also like brings me, cause I know a ton of people were asking about his reaction and I only posted it on Instagram because some people were being very mean. Nathan, Go to the bathroom? Yes, Nathan had All been right. traveling. Look, look, okay, I'll let him tell if you. If you wanna see my reaction, you can find it on Instagram uh, and you're gonna be disappointed because I didn't think it was that disappointing. I had been traveling for uh, about 30 hours at that point. I hadn't slept very well. I had been all the way across the world. I flew off an aircraft carrier. I went on crazy airplanes, commercial airplanes, all the stuff, and then I got home. Uh, and then Morgan showed me the bathroom. And I was really surprised and I thought it looked really good, but I was like, oh wow, this, this is really <laughs> cool, you know. You're probably also a little bit shocked because you weren't anticipating that. Well, but I also kind of sort of was because I, I swear, I swear in one of your videos you said that you were planning on renovating the bathroom. I did, like in one of my Q&As. Did a you couple find it? months ago, did I did. I did. It, it was ah. like a small mention. I didn't think you could watch long form videos on the ship. Like, I didn't think there was any way you could load that. Yeah. Because you told me this, the signal in the service was terrible. Most of the time. Like, you couldn't even watch my short form videos. So, I wasn't worried about you watching that because it was like sandwiched in there. So, you must have really waited like a long time for that video to load. Yep. And I did mention that I had projects coming up and I was thinking about doing a bathroom renovation to like keep myself occupied during deployment time so he kind of anticipated it but he didn't tell me that he saw that i didn't know so i thought this whole time like it was going to be a crazy surprise which you still were surprised like you didn't know the I extent was... of what i was doing no idea you had no idea you didn't know what i was up to you just knew that there was a possibility of a renovation yeah so yeah so going back to like staying connected on deployments too we were really lucky and that nathan ship very newly had Wi-Fi. So you can explain a little bit about that. Yeah, if, if you're in the Navy and you're on a surface ship, uh, you will eventually get, or you already have Wi-Fi, like uh, public Wi-Fi that you can just use to uh, message people on Facebook. Uh, you can use it for banking. Basically, it just allows you to stay connected while you're away from home. And that is uh, just probably one benefit that the surface Navy has over probably just about anybody else. So I was able to 
FaceTime Morgan regularly. Uh, mm, it didn't really work. It almost always glitched out, and it was well. If any of you have, it was nice to have satellite the Wi-Fi. internet. You understand why? It was also just really frustrating too, because like he would call, and I would think that we would get to talk, but it wouldn't connect, and he would keep trying to call, and it would keep trying to connect, and so we'd spend like ten minutes with it trying to connect. Ultimately, for the phone to connect, him to say hello, and then it would disconnect again. That's fair. That was like eighty percent of the time so it was, it was almost more frustrating to have wi-fi because this was the first deployment where we've had wi-fi and i was definitely grateful for it because i could send him more pictures of the boys he could send me pictures of cool stuff but like when it came to the phone calls it was really frustrating because like i would want to tell him so much but it wouldn't connect or it would cut me off and then we'd be done with our conversation all the time personally i was just happy to get 40 seconds talking to morgan so <laughs> A lot of people are asking about our moving plans and if we're going, if we're moving back to Texas. Can't find that question. There's a lot about asking us if we're moving back to Texas. And that heavily depends on what type of job Nathan gets when he gets out of the military. Oh, we would like to be near family, but again, like we're in Virginia Beach right now, so that's a huge move and Nathan has to have work there. Plus, so. there might be a surprise change in the near future. Who knows? We'll see. Here in Virginia Beach. Anyway. <laughs> Someone asked, how is living out of military housing about to move off of base and hate the thought of it? We've never lived on base. All of our homes have always been, like in Japan, we rented off base. So we lived in like... This, Japan. Like in Japan, in the city. I I realize a lot of uh, sailors, you know, enlisted guys, you kind of don't have a choice until you get married. Um, I say always live off base. I, I realize I've never lived on base officially, but like I've had to couch surf with some friends that were on base livers, you know. Um, nothing beats living off base, especially in Japan. Um, getting on the train, shopping in the Japanese grocery stores instead of like just the commissary, which is a military grocery store on base, you know. Yeah. It's just better. It, embrace plus, it. Yeah. Plus I like owning our house here because I do so many DIYs and like house projects. We couldn't do that if we lived on base. So that also, someone also asked, um, what DIY night? What DIY next? And I do have a lot of stuff planned that I'm really, really, really excited about. You Lots, do? Yes, I do. All right. Do you hate my DIYs? No, I'm just curious what rooms we have left. Not here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Lots of fun stuff planned. Lots of fun colors. Why do you dye your hair dark? Um, I guess I didn't a... dye it. This is my natural. It's luscious. This is my natural hair color. I was never a natural blonde. It was super high maintenance. Like my hair is very dark naturally. Um, so I just dyed it back to my natural roots so I could like have more fun in the summer. I don't have to worry about wash days, toning, anything. I can just play in the waves and be free, honestly. Blonde hair, you do not have more fun because you are less free. You have to worry about wash days, toner, getting your bleach hair dried out because you're washing it too much. And with natural hair, you can just do what you want. What are the biggest challenges in raising twins? Imagine one kid that's in a good mood for people who have one kid. Now, anytime that one kid is in a good mood, imagine you have a copy of him in a bad mood at the same time while you're also trying to make dinner. Mm. And they're just running the opposite directions. Now, that's the bad part. Diffusing double tantrums. The good part is... You sit down on the couch and you have two little buddies run up to you on both sides and give you the best snuggles in the world. So. The best snuggles in the world. Yeah, they do. They do. They are the best snugglers. Somebody asked, is deployment easier with children from a childless Mila spouse looking or making her plans? Okay, there are definitely pros and cons to this. Like, my first instinct is to tell you no, it's not easier because, like, you're taking care of children by yourself. Solo mom. You're, you're solo parenting, but like 
you don't have any support system. So like if I was solo parenting for dis different circumstances than him being deployed, like chances are I'd be around my family. Like I wouldn't have moved across the state and just randomly solo parenting. But when you're in the military, you have to solo parent without your friends, without your family, without anyone. You're put in a town that you don't, you don't know anyone. You're hundreds of miles away from your family and you have to do it all by yourself and you have to start from scratch every two years. So in that aspect, no, it's, it's, it's really hard to be in the military with children. It's definitely not easier, but I will say you're more distracted because you're so busy taking care of tiny people that the time kind of flies by a lot faster. For the service member, it's probably harder. Um, because those are just additional people that you miss and you're missing major life events for. So Big milestones. Definitely makes it harder. Do you fear that if you were to be pregnant again, it would be twins? Yeah. Yes. I do. I do think about that all the time. Stop thinking about your twins. Yeah, I think about that all the time because if you do have twins, like, they say it's genetic, like if you have fraternal twins, you, you're likely to have fraternal twins again, like a 30% chance, and if you're identical, it's just a fluke, but I know several twin moms that had two sets of identical twins, and I think there's something genetic going on there, and so yes, it does like occur to me that I could have twins again, and I think about that all the time, because I love having twins, it's been the best experience ever, but if and when we decide to have another one, I do just want one little baby. <laughs> just this one. I want to experience all the things with one. I want to give one little baby my full attention for all of its needs and I just really want to try for just like one instead of twins so I do fear that yes. How long have you been married and how did you meet your husband? Four years married. Before that we knew each other five years? Four years? No we only dated for three years. All right, so married for four. Before that, dated for three years. Met this uh, runaway homeschool girl working front desk at Hyatt Place in College Station, Texas. <laughs> yeah, we were both front desk employees. That was fun, those days were fun. Okay, this is the last question that we're gonna answer because we're about to go inside and eat some dinner. Um, I'm very excited. Nathan wanted to answer this question because He's wanted one for a very long time. Do you have any plans on getting a dog? We like the idea of getting a dog. Not we. Me. No, All you right, like no. the idea you, of getting a you dog. You want a gigantic dog that eats hay. Horses. I do want horses. I love horse, horses. I'm passionate about them. But like that's going to be down the line when we buy land and have a barn. I can't, I can't take care of a dog while you're also in and out and still going on deployments and leaving again. Like... When you're out of the military and we have a stable life, then we can definitely we'll talk We'll get a dog, a dog when you get a horse. How about that? That's fine, because then we'll have land for the dog to run on. It's going to be like a micro teacup Yorkie. <laughs> he loves the smallest little tiny, tiny doggies. <laughs> He's not going to want to run around the farm. He will. Well, you can put him in your backpack and carry him around then. Oh, perfect. My backpack, yes. Please, you would love that. That's where we're at. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. I think we touched on all of the most asked questions for the most part. To some of you that asked questions about me, just know I can't answer them. Just so you know, we're not ignoring you. All of them. Due to military and OPSEC and safety reasons, there are a lot of things that we can't answer and talk about openly and publicly, just for the safety of everyone but we do do our best to try to talk to you guys and answer what we can. So I really hope you enjoyed this Q&A and we'll see you guys soon.